After creating a document type and our very first content, we're now ready to move a step further. In this video, we'll set up the front end for our homepage. Let's go! In the previous video, we got our first piece of content in place, but ended up with a white and very blank front end. Now this is because we haven't set up our template yet. Shortly put, templates are where we define our markup and what should be rendered on the front page. Now let's head back to the back office. Templates are managed from the settings sections just like document types. But you can also access both the document type and templates directly from the content section. So if we select the welcome page here, go to the info tab, you can see here which document type and which template this content node uses. The links here will open each of them in a dialog, like so. Now this is the template for our homepage document type. It was automatically created for us when we created the document type. Now as you can see, our template here is quite empty at the moment. It has the required references here at the top to ensure the correct models will be used. And there's a little razor code block here. Don't worry too much about any of that for now. We'll be adding our markup down here below the razor code. When creating templates in Obraco, you have complete control. Use a mix of razor and HTML to create a layout that suits the website you're creating. For this video, we'll be adding the markup from our custom template that you saw earlier. First though, we'll start small to get a better understanding of how this works. So we'll hit enter a couple of times and add a h1 element here saying hello world. All right, save the template that can be done by either clicking the green button down here or simply hitting control S. There we are. Now let's head over to our front end and refresh. We can now see that our h1 element is rendered here on the front end. Now let's go back and add a bit more to the template. Open the template again by clicking over here or head to the settings section and find the template under the templates folder down here. Now let's add a paragraph. We're setting up our front end. Sweet. Okay, save it. And let's check the front end. So this is pretty simple. Right, so let's add the markup from our custom template. I have the index file open here in Visual Studio Code. We'll copy everything, head back to our homepage template in the back office. Then we'll highlight these two lines here and paste. All right, let's go ahead and save it. Refresh the front end one more time. So the front end looks a bit more like a real website now. We have a structure for our content. However, our website here is currently occupied by static values. All this text and images, all this is added directly through the HTML markup in our template file. Now, instead of that, we want to add dynamic values to our front end. We want to render our content from our content section. So back in the back office, let's take a look at our welcome node here in the content section. So instead of the static text from the HTML template, we want to render out the data that's entered into the body text field here. Okay, so back on the template, on the settings section. So here in the homepage template, we'll have to locate the main container section, which we have down here. So the first row section here is what we want to replace with the data from our body text. So if we highlight the list, the paragraph and the heading, and we'll get rid of that. There we go. So in order to render out our data here, we click on insert, select value, and then we have a choose field drop down here. This will give you a list of all available fields and data we can use. There's a bunch of standard fields, and then we also have the fields which we've made ourselves. You can see at the top here, we have our body text field. Now this is what we want to render on the front end, so we'll select it and we'll get a preview of the razor code that will be added to our template. And this is also where the alias of the property is being used. Okay, we will hit submit, and it's added to our template, just where we want it. 
Now let's save the template and go ahead and refresh the front end. And there we have it. Our body text field is now rendered right here. Okay, let's see what happens if we add some more data to our body text field. So in the back office content section and up here. So we'll say rendered on the front end question mark. Save and publish. All right, so let's refresh the front end one more time. And there you go. We've now added a dynamic value to our homepage. Whichever data we add to the field in the content section will now be rendered right here. Now this is starting to look more and more like a real website. However, it doesn't look quite right yet, does it? We're still missing some styling and some images. Not to worry, we'll cover that in the next video where we'll add CSS and other files to our project. And that was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.